What's up guys, it's that Panda guy and I'm here again with another video and I know I did a video already talking about uh, vehicles and stuff but I know that I was kind of rushing that video because I obviously didn't want to take let's say 10 hours talking about everything that kind of concerns everything right but I wanted to talk, kind of talk in a separate video about I, how like I just think these are like in the workshop these kits or whatever are so freaking overpowered and I might actually want to use another account for this because I think I have all the kits unlocked on uh, this other account, so let me actually do that because I haven't worked on my kits for this account yet today. Okay, swapped over to this one. But basically, I have all these kits, right? And, you know, obviously, as someone who only is the tier one things, I'm not going to get some crazy stat buffs. But for example, if I were to just simply unlock this engine mod kit, <coughs> I would get 8.5% uh, infantry squad attack. And you do have to uh, acknowledge that, for example, whenever you're, um, let's say, let's say you buy out the weekly thing, right? And this basically costs you. Where is this at? This basically could cost you, I think it's uh, $385, right? And you got to understand that once you max this out, you're able to, at the very least, unlock one of these vehicles, you know what I mean? Or unlock, unlock one of the uh, mod kits right there, the tier 3 things. And basically, by doing this, you can max these packs out every week, potentially, right? And once you've maxed these out for at least 6 weeks, you could potentially have up to, let's say, 70% of buffs that is just spread out between the troop types. And something that I did not really think about or mention was a squad firepower that you additionally get added onto your stuff and I was looking at the screenshot I got right and basically this person got it to level 4 where it's about to be upgraded to level 5 so once he upgrades it from level 4 to level 5 it basically goes up from 11 uh, infantry squad defense to 12 infantry squad defense. Not to mention the squad protection is at 388 out of uh, and, and then the next upgrade brings it up to 398 and that, that just means that he's going to be getting an additional 4% squad attack, right? Which is just insane when you really think about it. Because not only does he have here, um, and, and let's say he upgrades it to level 4, not only does he get the freaking 12% uh, infantry squad attack or infantry squad defense, and for whatever else he also upgrades, right? He's also going to be getting that additional 4% squad attack. And that right there would be just, uh, what, like freaking 16% um, buff just on that one thing alone and that's probably not even the end level like we obviously I obviously don't know what the end level is right now maybe uh, level 5 is the end level right and you just max out a level 5 maybe the end level is level 10 and that just means that it gets more insane and when you really think about this uh, I, I was comparing this to for example how you know parts used to be so expensive and I mean they still are really expensive but you know you could spend thousands and get the same stats here that you might be getting for a thousand, right? And it, it kind of goes the same way in armaments. I think armaments were the cheaper version of just the way to improve your account. Obviously, people would start grinding up armaments because it's just the, it's just much cheaper, and you get kind of the same stats for. Uh, a smaller price and it's kind of the same thing here right obviously four hundred dollars is not like a penny in your pocket and for the average player that's not something they're going to be willing to spend in like a week or something but for whales this is like this is freaking gold rush you know what i mean they're obviously going to be freaking buying this out because it's such good value for them that they have no reason not to and they're going to be able to get insane buffs and i i, I really want to see what the end um, and I wish there was like a way to see like what the last level is, but you know, I wish there was a way to see like uh, what the end level is and we could see kind of, you know, how many buffs they're going to potentially get over a longer period. I wanted to do a video specifically talking about this, not only to just let people know that this is probably where they're going to want to focus at, just to kind of uh, bring attention to it so you guys understand like the, how crazy this actually is. Cause I like, I'm looking at the screenshot, right? And this person had basically bought up the weekly packs and you got to understand Upgrading it to level 5 obviously does not take these same ticket things, so all he really needs are these uh, item source coin things and like, uh, you know, high carbon seal obviously, which he has enough of to upgrade it, and that in itself just means like, you could probably grind that out through the week, or maybe let's say you were doing the, uh, what, this pack right and you maybe completed or something maybe he's gonna be able to get it to level five on that like but like that right so obviously it's not like he has to spend for the levels you're mostly spending to unlock it it looks like unless there's gonna be certain level caps for example level 10 maybe you're gonna need more right uh, more of those little um uh, the blueprints, that's what it's called, right? And then obviously if you need more blueprints, you're probably going to have to spend more money, whatever the case. But 
just unlocking these are insane stats, man. Like, I don't even know. I don't even know. This is kind of, it's kind of crazy looking at this and being like, damn, like for real, you know, it makes me tempted. Obviously, I'm not going to buy it. Uh, maybe one day if I'm like a millionaire on doomsday, right? Either way, uh, you guys give me your thoughts, what you guys really think about the whole workshop thing, because I do think that this is kind of crazy. And I think at this rate, like, uh, just the gap between normal players and whales will be too insane. Like, I don't know how I'm going to take on, for example, like, I I'm already struggling, right, against, you know, like, above average spenders or, like, pretty decent spenders, not like whales, obviously. But, you know, obviously they have more stats than me on armaments. They have probably better gear than me. Um, and now there's this workshop. So if they work on their workshop, I'm going to be getting a potentially, let's say, um, give it give it a few weeks, right? And let's say that I'm taking on a range rally versus my infantry, and I do not have any, like, infantry, you know, level threes or whatever. Um, and let's say they have both their range uh, things unlocked, right? They're going to potentially have, let's say, 20% plus stats just in range, right? And they're going to have the squad protection, or they're going to have the squad... Um, firepower right and then they're going to have that additional uh attack or additional defense which just boost all even like their squads on the field just in general this is kind of insane and i think like the gap is just ever getting longer i mean obviously i think that's how it normally is for games to be completely fair like this isn't like something that's out of the uh you know it's, it's not something new to kind of games but i think like the the rate that this is kind of happening and how like big the gap is getting so freaking fast like with one update like like i i would have preferred if they unleashed the workshops and they maybe only had the tier one and two unlocked right and then maybe you could grind up these and then they maybe did at a later date they uh release this level three at least it would give time for people to maybe work on um the level two right like much lower spenders or just and, and that would also cap off kind of getting too strong too fast, obviously. And I mean, maybe people would get mad like, oh, I spent all this money on this tier two thing and now there's a tier three thing. But I do think that this will probably be better to release it like that instead of just releasing something that's giving people like 70 percent of stats right in, in, in a single in a few weeks basically either way i want to hear your guys' thoughts about that i want to hear if you guys have any qualms about it i mean obviously for whales if you're a whale and you're in my comment section you're probably going to be like i don't know what you're complaining about i love this thing <laughs> but for me it is not amazing okay um, i do want to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section though i do appreciate your input as always and i do appreciate you guys for just checking out my video you guys are you guys have a great day or night though and i will see you guys in the next video and that is about it peace out